Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India
so we get R m equals to u m by 2 pi n. So, that is at the mean radius that is what we can get. So, area would be 2 pi R m h which is u m h by n and h equals to a n by u m. So, the root radius is R m plus h by 2 and a tip radius and root radius is R m minus h by 2. Now, all a 1, a 2, a 3 all are calculated. So, note that all the relationship we have derived well for v z 2 equals to v z 3. If v z 2 is not equal to v z 3, then u by v z 2 equals to tan alpha 2 minus tan beta 2 and u by v z 3 is tan beta 3 minus tan alpha 3 and psi equals to 2 C p delta T naught s by u square 2 by u 2 tan alpha 2 3 tan alpha 3. Okay. So, also in the is the flare is not symmetrical. So, u must be replaced by u m 2 and u m 3. For this preliminary design we have taken losses into account via lambda n and eta s rather than lambda r or lambda n. So, uh, lambda n is implied by the design and lambda r can now be now can be calculated. So, we get T 2 by T 3 prime equals to P 2 by P 3 gamma minus 1. So, which means T 2 P 2 by P 3 gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, for this preliminary design we have taken losses account via in an eta s rather than it lambda r and this. Now, W 3 is V z 3 by cos beta 3 and lambda r would be T 3 minus this by 2 C p. Typically, lambda r is greater than lambda n due to tip leakage loss in the rotor blades. Okay. So, this is how we get this done. Now, the next is the vortex theory. Okay. So, what is that? This is the next step in the design. So, to consider the 3D nature of the flow, so far as it affects the variation of the gas angles with radius. Uh, radius. So, this is to consider 3 D nature of the flow. Second, to consider the blade shapes and that is also necessary to achieve the required gas angles and the effect of the centrifugal and gas bending stresses on design. 
third to check the design by estimating lambda n and lambda r from the result of cascade test suitably modified to take account the or take into account the 3D flows. Okay. So, when we take the three dimensional effect considering uh, radial equilibrium. So, we have already seen in compressor that u is r omega. So, u goes up as rotational speed goes uh, as r goes up. So, to maintain a smooth flow the blade has to be twisted. So, the twisted blade required. Second, twisted blading designed to take into account the changing gas angle which is called the vortex blading. Okay. Now, we can do free vortex design, where stagnation enthalpy H naught is constant over the annulus, which means d H naught by d r would be 0, b axial velocity is constant over the annulus and c v theta is inversely proportional to radius or v theta r is constant. So, with this assumption radial equilibrium condition is satisfied and this design is called the free vortex design. Okay. Now, for nozzle the H naught is constant at the inlet, okay. then it will be constant at the. So, for nozzle if H naught is constant at inlet it is constant at outlet because no work is done in the nozzle. Second, if we design the nozzle blade such that V z 2 is constant and V theta 2 r is constant. So, this means the radial equilibrium theory is satisfied at station 2. Similarly, if rotor blades are designed in such a way that V z 3 is constant and V theta 3 into r is constant, then it also satisfied the radial equilibrium theory. So, it can be shown that H naught 3 is also constant and hence radial equilibrium theory or radial equilibrium is satisfied at 3. Okay. So, what we write? We write um, from angular momentum equation, what we write w is u delta v theta which is known. So, we can write u v theta 2 plus v theta 3 which is omega v theta 2 r plus v theta 3 r which is constant. Now, also w equals to C p delta h naught. So, if w is constant over r, then 
delta H naught is is constant over R. So, hence H naught 3 is constant over R. Okay. So, which tells me that H naught must be constant at inlet and at outlet 2. So, that A is so to maintain this the H naught has to be constant at the inlet and at the outlet 2. So, that this condition is satisfied A. So, this is what you get when you are talking about the free vortex design. So, we will stop it here and continue this uh, discussion of the design in the next lecture.